What's up, first grade? Today we're gonna to keep talking about our tape diagrams. You started them on Friday, and we are going to continue working on tape diagrams in math. It is Monday. Let me go ahead and turn on these little fun transitions that help you see and I get my pointer. Today is Monday, March 3rd, the 30th, 2020. We will learn more about using and building a tape diagram. Before we can do that, we got to get started and warm up our brains. We are going to warm up by skip counting by fives to 120. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my little picture right here so I'm out of the way. All right, I'm going to point to the words as we do it. You're gonna get a go ahead and chance to say it out loud. Let's try it. We're gonna start at one. As I touch them, make sure you're saying them out loud. Let's keep going, starting at 10. We're gonna count on. And stop. What number do we stop on? You're right, we stopped on 50. Right now, I would like you to pause the video in just a second, and you're gonna do it all by yourself. And instead of me pointing, you're going to touch with your finger and you're going to count on by five. You're going to count on by sweet. And there's even a challenge down here. It says challenge, use a squeaky mouse voice. And a, so I might go like this. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And use a deep lion roar voice all the way to 120. All right, you're going to do it two times. How many times? Ready? Pause the video and go ahead and do it. All right, we're gonna keep going. Moving on, we're gonna work on our problem of the day. Let's read it together. Put your pointer finger on the first word, Julie. Julie has 11 pieces of candy. Yadira gave her 12 more pieces. How many pieces of candy does Julie have in all? Hmm, if I hear the word in all, I might know that I want to find the total. In all means I'm looking for the total, the answer. So let's go ahead and find out what that means. <clears throat> Here I have Julie who has 10 and one more, which makes 11. And here I have Yadira who has 10 and two more, which would make 12. You're right, it would make 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write those numbers in. 11 and 12. Now it says, how many pieces of candy does Julie have in all? So now she has all of these plus all of these. So I might wanna write my number sentence. I'm not going to write the number sentence. That's what you are going to do and you're going to turn in on Class Dojo. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what that might look like the way I build it. Now remember, you can use a number sentence that looks like this, horizontal or a number sentence that looks like this, vertical. Up to you. Let's keep going. If you need to pause to do it right now, go ahead and pause. If not, I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we're gonna work on a tape diagram. As you can see, Ms. Hernandez accidentally already wrote some stuff. That's okay. Let's read it together. Nine dogs were playing at the park. Some more dogs came to the park. Then there were 11 dogs. Now, how many more dogs came to the park? So let me just go ahead and erase these things that are already there, because I wanna erase them and I wanna only make sure that I'm working on the stuff that is the most helpful for me. So I'm gonna make a tape diagram today. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So there was nine dogs. I see nine is an important number. They were already playing. And then there were some more dogs came. It doesn't tell us what number of more dogs. So I'm gonna put a question mark right here because I don't know how many more dogs came. Then there were 11 dogs. So now I know that there was 11 dogs at the very end of the day. How many more dogs came to the park? So let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna draw what it would look like in a tape diagram. So first there were nine. So I'm gonna draw a little rectangle, a little tape, because it's a rectangle shape like tape. I'm gonna draw this. And I'm going ahead and write nine. 
right here on the inside because I know there were nine dogs. My nine's not as good as yours, but we know there's nine right there. Then some more dogs came, but it doesn't tell us how many more. So I'm just gonna add on to my little tape, add a little bit more, just a little, cause we don't know how many there are. And since they didn't tell us how many there were, I'm gonna draw a question mark because I don't know how many more came. I just know there was nine at the beginning, then some more came, and now all together, I'm gonna go like this, draw lines from the whole thing. All together, there are 11 dogs at the park. So, if I wanted to figure out what this looks like in a number sentence, I might write blank plus, my bad, nine, because I know nine were there, nine, plus blank equals 11 dogs. Nine plus blank equals 11 dogs. So I'm gonna figure out what is gonna go in this line right here, this blank space, and what's gonna go in there. So I might, in my brain, I might have, hold the number nine, and I might count on and see how many more fingers I put up. So let's try that. Hold nine in your brain and count on until you get to 11. Nine, 10, 11. How many more fingers did I put up? two more fingers, which tells me that nine plus the number two makes 11. It says, how many more dogs came to the park? I know that two more dogs came to the park. So I'm gonna make sure that when I write my answer, I write it, two more dogs came to the park. Now you're going to use the tape diagram on all of your problems today on your practice. If you need any help, you can watch this video again, or I put a little QR code. It's this cool thing you get to scan on your paper, and it will show you another video of a tape diagram. All right, good luck. Now it's your turn. Here is your lesson. Let me go ahead and erase this just to make sure that you can see all of it. Your turn, it tells you what pages you need to be doing. And it also says how you can submit a video of your math on Class Dojo under the math, Monday math problem of the day and Monday math practice. You can just take a little video or a picture and send it right there so I can see. After you're done, you got extra practice or you can pick and choose ST Math, Zern, or Class Hero. Have fun.